why hello there good afternoon uh ooh, uh i guess i have to delete characters who even are these guys <laughs> these are characters from a long time i don't even remember okay delete 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 they probably had some good shit i should say but whatever it's fine uh <laughs> they were they were low levels who cares Okay, so we're playing some EverQuest today. Um, there's a couple of classes I want to make. Um, I, I was really trying to bounce back and forth between what class I should play. I used to freaking love this game so much. It's been a long time. God, I remember <laughs> I made a frog lock once. Uh, and I would just like... Frog locks have insanely high swim. And I just remember as a kid having one of these guys and swimming so fast through way too high level zones and just exploring the game. Um, oh, there's lots of cool stuff in this game. Okay. So what classes do we have? Okay, let's see. Not going to be a beast lord. Uh, these are like, you know, the monster summoner, like pet tamer class. Berserker. Uh, let's see. Not going to be a cleric. Not going to be a druid. I was considering Enchanter. For a while, Enchanter seems like an interesting class. The most subtle spellcasters with little focus on uh, damage directly, tremendous impact. Uh, they have some interesting things. They can charm guys. They can do a lot of damage based on, like, getting enemies on your side. Uh, but they can also do illusion magic, which is one of the interesting things about EverQuest is there is a lot of, uh, like, faction reputation and stuff like that so some of these races have different allegiances like if you play a human you're not going to hang out with dark elves and vice versa because dark elves are like evil alliance and humans are good alliance uh so uh so you have certain and if you're ixar you're basically stuck by yourself for a long time i believe um Enchanters can do illusions to, like, change their appearance and basically hang out wherever the hell they want, which is kind of cool. Magician is the class I've probably played the most. Magicians are pretty accessible soloers. They have good pets that they can summon, so that's kind of cool. I hear monks are really good. I've been considering playing a monk. Uh, I always consider magician because magician's pretty accessible. It's kind of cool to unlock new spells all the time. Um, I'm considering a monk. Monk is apparently really, really good. DPS class, very easy to get access to. Necromancer is apparently maybe like the best soloer I've heard often. Hey, Scoots, how's it going? Um, the problem with Necromancers is they're evil. Everyone hates you when you're you pretty much go off by yourself. So I'd like to try one someday. Not going to be a paladin. Not going to be a ranger. My first class ever was a ranger. I do want to make a rogue, but rogues are the worst soloers in the game basically. So I basically, I can't play a rogue unless I get some people to play with. So, hopefully, if I play this a bit, I'll get some people in my server that maybe want to try out EverQuest. And if that's the case, I will definitely create a rogue to play with them. Um, but rogues are so backstab-focused that playing by yourself would just be dumb, I think. Shadow Knight, Shaman, Warrior, Wizard. Oh, I think my first class... No, I think Wizard was my second class. I want to make a Bard. Okay, what races can Bards... Uh, can be Bards? I think I'm going to make a Bard. Uh, half-elf. I don't know what their racial bonuses are. Humans are always safe. Draken. Oh, Drakens. Drakens were added later. Uh, oh, Vashir. Let's not do that. Huh... Who should my character be anyways? Oh, we can do appearance? What's advanced? Oh, we can apply stats. I don't even know what ideal stats are. This this starter phase is pretty good. Got some nice uh, old porn star vibes, you know? Oh, good God. They're very limited options. <laughs> oh, God. Hmm. We 
can make ourselves like Fabio. Can I even rotate this camera? I can with the arrow keys. Hmm. <laughs> oh god. I kind of like the the porn stash. The name Fabio's got to be taken, right? That mustache is so freaking yellow. It is radioactive. What the hell? What is going on with that? That is a fake mustache. Okay. I, it's like glowing off of the face. What is that? Hmm. You can't make them the same hair color. It's crazy. You can't make them match. Okay. Fabio. That's got to be taken, right? What is a heroic... Oh, that probably is a level boost. Another player has chosen that name. Fabio the Bard. Fabio... Fa uh, uh, oh, God. Fa... Fa... Do, re, mi, fa. So, la, la labio. <laughs> oh, God. And her world. <laughs> we're, we're now labio. Uh, it's, it's labio. It's like do, re, mi, fa. So, la, tito. Oh, God. No one is allowed to pronounce my name labio. <laughs> oh, I like this character already. The kobolds of Glooming Deep dig far below the surface of Norath, greedy for treasure and the dark secrets of the depths. They recklessly expand their slave raids towards the nearby settlements of your homeland. Many have already been captured. Few have escaped, fearing the further approach of the glooming deep raiding parties. Your kindred have chosen you to journey to your home city and deliver a plea for help. As the gods would have it, you are captured long before you reach the capital, alone and far from home. You find yourself beneath the Lash of the Glooming Deep Kobolds. You are relentlessly questioned about the note you were carrying. Regardless of your answers, the Kobolds pummel you. Between interrogations, as the hours pass, hope of your survival fades. Soon you slip into unconsciousness. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, time to get used to all of these controls that are going to be really confusing. Keyboard movement, okay, we can do that. We need to adjust the mouse look because it is very low sensitivity. Uh, holy shit. Uh, duck, okay. Space bar is jump. Okay. Labio, I mean labio. It all looks good. Oh my god, this... How, how do I how do I go to escape is not menu? Oh. Okay. As you stagger your feet, you realize that someone is talking to you. Check the main menu, uh, main chat window to see what he is saying. 
Arya says, relax for a moment. I just set your ribs back into place. After the beating you got from those kobolds, you're lucky to still be alive. <laughs> Labio. It's Labio. This is fantasy Fabio. Okay. Hold the right mouse button and drag it to look in the direction. Yes, with the right mouse button to press. <laughs> uh, hold the left mouse button to move forward. That's a weird control scheme. Uh, actually, that makes sense. Wazda, arrow keys. Okay. Sounds good. Arius is an NPC, short for non-player character. Oh, this is like... <laughs> EverQuest is still alive. EverQuest is still getting expansions. There are now like over 25 expansions, like 25 expansions or something for it. Um, it is now owned by a company that has brought it free to play. So there's going to be some pay to win stuff going on. There's going to be like a subscription you can pay if you want access to the good servers, stuff like that. Um, there's going to be an in-game store. So there's going to be stuff like that in the game now, but still. Uh, the first step to interacting with an NPC target... Okay, you have to click them. Their name will blink in the target window. Target and click OK to continue. Many friendly NPCs will talk if you hail them. Press H to hail. <laughs> okay. Hail. Oh, wait. You still look a little dazed, my friend. Why don't you take a moment to uh, get your bearings? Okay. Hail. Hello, friend. My name is Arius, and it's... Lucky for you, I'm good at binding wounds. You almost didn't make it. You can thank me later. For now, let's join forces and escape this dungeon. Yes, let's escape. Glad you're here with me. I've picked uh, the flimsy cell door lock with a chisel I stole from the mines. There's one obstacle out of the way. Here's what we have left to do. So we now have a quest menu. You can press Alt-Q to open up your quest journal. So, uh, this game, I remember, has, like, a real... It gets pretty complex with the UI, the control scheme, all that stuff. I remember having just, like, a shit ton of... A shit ton of windows everywhere. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Accept when you're ready. Let's accept. Okay, you pick the flimsy lock. Uh, but getting past the next gate won't be so easy. To leave the detention area and head to the outer mines, you'll need a key from the Glooming Deep Jailer. Wait, is this how I access the menu? It is. Options. Uh, uh oh okay i don't want to spend money no mouse let's try this let's try this eh whatever let's try this hmm Okay, I'll go with 45 for now. That's way better than 3%. Okay. Accept. Let's break out of jail. You've accepted your first quest, Jailbreak. The task window displays a verbose list of all the steps associated with the quest. You can also uh, see the brief version of the task steps in the quest overlay window. Okay. So these are the steps. Uh, can I just expand this in both directions okay close that so that's alt q yes hey piglet how's it going scary look have you seen my wait how do i look at my face L L labio not labio the bard you've accepted your first quest jailbreak the task window displays a verbose... Okay, we've read that. To complete the quest, you must locate the Glooming Deep Jailer. Defeat him. Loot the Jailer's key and give the Jailer's key to Arius. Okay, we can do that. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm following you. Together, we should be able to bring down the Glooming Deep Jailer. Sounds good. Okay, so we need to explore the area. <laughs> All this game is classic. Oh, God. Oh, this is, uh, this looks horrible.
Okay, we have to find the Glooming Deep Jailer. Is that him? It is. You found the Glooming Deep Jailer. First, left-click the Jailer to target him. Then approach him and activate auto-attack by pressing Q. There he is! Lead the charge and we'll take him together. Uh, How do I want to set up my hotbars? What is this? Chant of battle. Let's sing a song! Arius judges you <laughs> amiably. Okay, let's let's attack. I don't know what that chant did. Oops, I turned off auto attack. We did it. Uh. Hey, pickle, how's it going? Yeah. Okay. You mu uh you must acquire the glooming deep jailer's key. Find the key. Displayed in the advanced loot window. Click the green check mark next to the key. Okay, that will loot. Yes. To give an item to another character, open up the inventory window. Press I. Left click on the item to pick it up with your cursor. Then left click on the recipient. Wait, what? I. Left click on an item to pick it up. Then left click on the recipient. Give. We did it. <laughs> Skip me work and install. Okay, you got this. Uh, congratulations, you finished your first quest. Arius will lead you deeper into the glooming deep mines where a slave rebellion is underway. The outnumbered slaves could surely use your help and you have much more to learn from them. The EQ button will be invaluable to you on your journeys. The drop-down menus access from the EQ button provide a link to every interface and many actions as well. Okay, wait, what is what does he say? I, I, gotta, I gotta move this actually. Shh, do you hear that? Uh-oh, I think we're loading. I can't read this. Do you hear that commotion? It sounds like a slave revolt has broken out in the mines. It's Labio. He's like Fabio. Do, re, mi, Fabio, Solio, Labio. It's not Labio. Why does everyone keep thinking it's Labio? <laughs> Uh, listen, Fabio was taken, so we had to go with Labio. Okay? Welcome to the revolt. You have been given two new quests. If you're ready to begin fighting the re uh, for the revolt, Hail Guard Ratiz. If you would like more training on the finer points of EverQuest, speak with Arius and he will direct you to other knowledgeable members. Okay. So what quest do we have? Oh, God. It's going to be a nightmare to get all this shit set up. What is Chant of Battle? How do I check this? Oh, my God. Here are all the windows. We have a bunch of windows popping up. What does this do? How do I how do I check this? Oh, I don't want to attack anyone. Okay. So, basic training. Speak with... We have to hail Arius. Oh, my God. There's so much stuff on the map just, like, overlapping. What is this? Hot, oh, okay. This is, like, stuff to help you out. You'll earn additional experience in faction. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Amazing. Okay. Hey, Arius. Teach me. Teach me your ways. We found the other slaves. Not bad, my friend. Not bad. No matter what happens in the mines, you should be able to find your way back here. If you seek allies in other instances of these mines, I can send you there if you wish. So if I type wish, he'll type me to another he'll take me to another instance of the mines. It's a big world out there. It helps to know where you're going. You can uh use the find command. Okay, control F to find. Press find in your hot buttons bar. Okay. So what do we have to do? We have to find Abhor. Oh, sorry, that's Abzor. I apologize, Abzor. That was abhorrent of me to... <laughs> uh, okay, where are you? Okay, we get the, the big the big old worm to follow. Huh, do I want to lower my sensitivity a bit? I don't know. Uh, settings, settings. Wait, where are they? Why are my eyes not working? Oh, options. I'm dumb. Eh. 
Okay, let's go with that. Hello, Abzor. Hello, Labio. <laughs> Before your slave revolt, I was forging picks and shovels. Now, I'm making weapons so we can fight back. Mainly swords and spears. Simple stuff. If you give me your weapons, I can make you a better one. Abzor is a weapon maker. You should already have a weapon equipped uh, from your escape with Arius. But Abzor can make it better. Open your inventory and remove the weapon uh, from the lower left slot. This is your primary weapon slot where you hold weapons. Okay. Here you go. He's fixed your, uh, He's fixed up your weapon and placed it back in your inventory. Amazing. Alt Q is quest. Control F to find stuff. Okay. Amazing. Uh, I don't. I think it's like Vox or something. It was uh, a preferred server that was like a standard rule set. Okay. Uh, I think I had characters on this server a long time. Well, I know I had characters on this server a long time ago because I deleted them just now. Uh, okay, what next? Valara. Okay, let's do this. Bam. There's my navigation worm. Okay, hello, Valara. Ale. I'm glad you managed to escape the slave warrens in one piece. There are many others who are not so lucky. Here, take this armor we found on a cobalt. It's not much, but it should keep you safe. Uh, there we go. Ooh. Nice purple pauldrons. Valara has offered you a piece of cobalt armor to keep you safe. Equip the armor. Uh, note that some armor you will uh, later obtain can only be equipped by placing it directly into the corresponding slot. Okay. Okay, who... Oh, we have to talk about armor. Let's see. Do we just go others? Ah! Others. We have many wounded, and they need bandages. If you can find any glooming deep silk, bring it to me, and I can make more bandages. I'll reward you with whatever burlap armor pieces I can find. Now that you have the sleeves equipped, uh, notice in your inventory wi window that your armor class went up. The higher your armor class, the harder it will be for enemies to hit you. Valara can make you s some burlap armor if you bring some glooming deep spider silk. Okay. Wait. Huh? Is that not a quest? Ah! Others! Okay, check for the next quest in basic training. Uh, we have to talk to Zenaida. Okay, where are you, Zenaida? There you are. Greetings, Lavio. I need some mushrooms to finish my healing potions for the wounded slaves. I marked the location of some mushrooms on your map. Can you bring one to me? I'm rather busy at the moment. You may bring up the map menu by pressing M. Okay, and it will tell you where the mushrooms are. The mushrooms are over, uh, or over here. I'm pretty sure in, like, original EverQuest, I think you had to map yourself. I think that was a thing. Okay. You may need to bring up the map window by pressing M key. You should see the Glooming Deep Mushrooms label on the map. You should also see your current location. Okay. Pick one by left-clicking on it. Sounds good. Is this a mushroom? Yes. Additional map features. If you want to show or hide the visibility of floors above or below your current position, you can toggle the height filter. Uh, when this button is activated, locations and items below a distance specified in the low field won't be drawn. Wait, what? 
high oh low and high position okay when this button is activated wait height filter things below or above won't be drawn show or hide labels on the map toggle the labels button it's interesting that you still see so many people just like hanging around the tutorial zones that's pretty cool targets target I did notice, so the other day I, I was just uh, looking on Twitch and I saw, I didn't realize Co Carnage, who's like a, a really big streamer on here, plays EverQuest. So he's like playing EverQuest for like 3k plus people, which was really cool to see. Okay. Uh, oh, Zenaida. Hello, I have mushrooms for you. Thanks, very helpful. Amazing. Next, we have to talk to Wrighton about spells. Why, hello there. I don't even need to use the control F feature. Hail. Hello, Labio. I'm not much of a fighter myself, but I can bestow the power of my God's favor. Would you like to be blessed? I would. He's giving you a spell scroll. To use the spell... Uh, you must first scribe a spell in your spell book and then memorize the spell in your spell bar. There are a limited number of slots available on your spell bar, so choosing which spells you have memorized is uh, will be an important strategy as you scribe more spells. Control B is a spell book. Oh, okay. What does Chant of Battle do? Can I check it from here? Uh... Oh, Wrighton says, You seem to be a bit of a caster yourself. You will find that spells and songs can greatly enhance your power. Being a hybrid of sorts, you will have access to both magic and, later, skill tomes. For now, take this scroll. It may prove useful uh, to you as you combat the kobolds. As you earn money and experience, you will find other powerful spells. Some spells can be purchased from vendors. Some uh, can be made by players with trade skills, and some can be obtained via quest. Okay. Okay. Chords of Dissonance. Nice. Let's... Wait, how do I do this? Oops. Eh. One second. You must scribe it. Control B. Transfer the spell to an empty... Do I do this? Okay. Yep. Learning it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know that they lowered their, like, rate of releasing expansions. I don't remember how many they're doing now. I don't remember if it's, like, one every two years now or something. Because I think they used to do, like, two expansions a year. And I think it dropped to, like, one every year. And I think it's one every two years now. But that's still crazy for this game. That's awesome. What was it called? Terror of Luckland or something? Okay, we'll take a bit of time. A thin purple progress bar will appear at the bottom of your spellbook while you're scribing. How do I see what it does? Okay. It's also possible to memorize spells by right-clicking on an empty spell slot in the spell bar and choosing your spell from the context menu. As you scribe more spells, more categories will appear in these... Wait, it's possible to memorize spells by right-clicking on an empty spell slot and choosing your spell from the context menu. Okay, so Chant of Battle is an armor class buff and Chords of Dissonance is a dot. Okay. Yeah, I, I do find that this game has a bit of like a learning curve where, where at the very beginning it's like, okay, I have to absorb all this info. <laughs> okay. Uh, so the beginning will be a little bit slow, but I, I recall really loving this game, the skill progression, all that stuff. And also, it's just a, a ridiculously huge world. Okay, it's also po possible for you to memorize them. Yes, yes. Eventually, you can find different... Uh, you may find that you use different groups of spells at different times. Okay, that's cool. So you can... If you want to save the spells you currently have memorized as a spell set, you can do so by right-clicking on the spell book at the end of your spell bar. Okay, that's cool. Choose save spell set. Okay, that, that is useful. I still don't know how to 
figure out what the descriptions are. Oh, for a description, right click and hold on an icon in your spellbook. There we go. A simple tune that increases the strength, dexterity, and armor class of group members. Okay. Clashing notes that cause between two and zero damage and lowers the armor class of any nearby creature. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, Pickle, I, I'm going to try to get... I'm going to hopefully get someone, so, someone, some people in my Discord to play this game. It's free. There's no harm in trying. Um, I do really want to make a rogue, but uh, I don't think rogues are going to be the best solo experience. Okay, anyways. To cast a spell, you must have... <laughs> to cast a spell, you must have memorized the spell in your spell bar to... Uh, to okay, mana, most spells... Require mana to cast. Mana is represented by the blue bar below your hit point meter. Uh, where is my hit point meter? Oh, there. Uh, below your hit point meter in the player window, much like hit points, mana will generate over time, but it will regenerate much faster when you are sitting. If you are in a rested state and sitting there, uh, there will be a yellow swirl in your player window. Okay, cool. Uh, both mana and hit points regenerate at a much faster rate than normal. If you wish to read these lessons again, simply ask Writen to review them. Sounds good. Okay. Control B. <laughs> okay. Who next? Prathen. Was it Control F? Prathen. Where are you, Prathen? I wonder if they have, like, one... Do you think they have, like, one NPC of every race in this room? Hail, Prathen. There are so many members of the revolt that can aid you to com as you combat the kobolds. A new soldier uh, like you won't last long without friends. I don't think... know if I saw any trolls. Oh, there's a troll. Or ogres. There's an ogre. Okay, never mind. Froglock! Is there a frog lock? Anyways. Prathen recommends forming groups with other... Adva what are you talking about? I'm antisocial. To improve your mutual chances of survival. This is the best advice you will ever receive in all of your EverQuest adventures. To invite another player uh, to join your group, target them and click invite on the group window. If another player invites you to a group, the invite button will change to read follow. Which will cause you to join the group when pressed. Okay, sounds good. You want to join my group, Prathen? Uh, there are many different commands that you may enter in your chat window. Okay, so you can say... Oh, God. Biggle. <laughs> Do you remember the poem? This sends your message to everyone in the immediate area. For example, say, anyone know any good pirate jokes? What's a pirate's favorite letter? Slash tell. Okay, slash G. This will send it to your group. Uh-oh, we woke the dungeon. Sounds good. There are also a few... Uh-oh, here we go. Here are a few chat commands that can... Uh, that you can type in your main chat window. Slash shout. This is a zone-wide channel. That sends a message to everyone in this zone. For example, slash shout, chunky lover, chunky biscuit, slash shout, I like muffins too, slash shout, chunky lover, chunky biscuit, slash shout, oops, I took a poo. You send that to a macro, put it on your sister's uh, hot bar, tell her to press it when she comes back from getting a drink, and then she gets mortified and never plays EverQuest again. Slash OOC, out of character. It's a zone-wide command. Okay. Sounds good. Main chat is just one chat window you can utilize. You can fully customize your interface. Sounds good. Uh, so we can probably add new ones somehow. New tab, yes. Uh, select what you want to see in each one by turning on filters. Sounds good. While regular chat channels cover a lot of situations, custom chat channels will let you keep in touch with friends more easily. That sounds good. If I get anyone else to play this game, I'll probably utilize that more. 
Um, you could use slash join if you want to create a custom uh, chat channel. Oh, do you remember like learning languages in this game? You would just like train one point in every language and then create macros to just like freaking spam whispering each other in languages. I like how you could like <laughs> the ideology in this game is like or like the idea in this game is it's like, oh, you learn one Spanish word like C. Si. And it's like, oh, great. I have one point in Spanish. I know the word C. Si. And then like we just keep saying a word to each other in Spanish until we suddenly know it. We taught ourselves to be fluent in Spanish from the seed of one word. It just naturally gr flows. Okay, auto join chat chat. What? Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Okay, what next? Alga. Well, we have all these optional ones too. Okay. Where are you, Alga? Oh, wait. Basher, Alga. There we go. Most important part of battle is preparation. You're gonna get killed out there if you don't. That's the first thing you need to learn. I can show you. Except. Uh. Hot bars. Hail? Hot bars are the primary tools for playing EverQuest. You use the hot bars assigned to activate different types of abilities, alternate, uh, alternate advancement abilities, and custom and predefined actions. There are multiple ways to adjust and manage your hot bars. Cycling. You can switch to a different page by clicking arrows. Okay. New hot bars. Okay. That seems pretty self explanatory. Hot bars are abilities, actions, and macros. Uh, that can be activated by a simple click. Yes, yes, drag and drop. It's funny, the thing that's... This is, like, simultaneously a huge info dump of just, like, here is everything that you need to know! But also, so many of the things are, like, NPCs are non-player characters, so it's a, it, it's simultaneously, like, so much information, but a lot of the information is, like, if this is the first game you've played... Uh... You can move hotkeys by scrolling, uh... By holding down on the left mouse button for a moment. Wait. Okay. That works. This is especially useful for dragging your action, alternate advancement, and spell gem menus. You can right click on an empty hotbar and use assign social to set custom made actions. Assign social. Okay, cool. Yeah, for sure. This was my first MMO. Dragging existing abilities and assigning default actions is only the first step. You can also create your own hotkeys. You can also uh, use your action menu and access the socials page. By the way, this area that I'm in right now wouldn't have been in classic uh, EverQuest. The area that I'm in right now was added way later. Like, this was added in, like, Expansion 13 or something. Um, they added... Basically, what they did is, like, 13 expansions in or something. They added an expansion where they kind of bring everyone into a same tutorial zone where they teach you the shit you need to know. And then they have, like, this, like... was it called? Crescent Reach area where you can level up a lot faster and they... Every faction can play together. It's basically because you have a world that's so big, but a population that isn't quite so big. And so, rather than having a huge dead world, they're like, okay, let's condense this so you can play together. Yeah. Um, okay. Reward choices. Uh, what does this do? Increases your run speed. Sure. You can personalize your hotkeys by using extended right-click menu. Hold down the right uh, mouse button. Oh over an existing hockey to see options. Activate, clear, assign icon. Oh, you can change icons for skills. Uh, remove icon, assign label. Okay. Change size. Okay, what next? Hop bar tips. They're resizable. Yes. 
The buttons themselves are resizable. Click and hold on a hot bar. Wait, Che. What? 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 On a hot button. Okay. Okay, we're not going to do that. I just wanted to check. Change size. 100. Bam. Oh, God. I broke my hot bar. There we go. Uh, I don't think I need to read this. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Okay. Alt Q. Let's see. Basic training. There were a bunch of optional things. So, Frisnik. I thought we saw Frisnik. Oh, there is a frog lock. Okay. Where are you, Frisnik? Dromelin, out of curiosity, what is your favorite class? Okay, why, hello there. My name is Frisnik, and I'm in charge of finding food for the revolt. I found uh, more than enough rat meat to make steaks. So if you want to cook yourself some food, be my guest. Would you like to learn how to cook rat steaks? I would love to learn how to cook rat steaks. That sounds amazing. The world of Norath has many different types of trade skills that allow players to create useful items and equipment. Trade skills are a fun pastime and can also help your character earn money by selling the items to other players. In this tutorial, Frisnik will teach you how to use the baking trade skill. Okay. Uh, I think this is just the thing you use on the hotbar, right? Oh, and is this to read my guild summons? Okay. Welcome to Crescent Reach. This city is home to the of the Draken, a race created by dragons to provide to protect the bloodline of Vishan. Crescent Reach and the sixth, the Dragon Progenitors, welcome all who fight for their cause under the banner of the Circle of the Crystal Wing. Our bards came together to form the Weavers of Legend. They collect the tales of our budding new city and Draken and put them into song for all. They are always looking for new fate spinners and those who spread both uh, spread faith and love in Vishan, the Worm Queen. Join today. Take this note to S Scale Singer Vishma, Veshma, and the Masters of the Reach House by Dragon Groves. Okay, sounds good. You would also love to learn how to cook rat steaks. It's probably pretty easy, to be honest. Uh. Wait, did I type? I haven't typed rat snakes. I mean, rat. Steaks! Rat steaks! It's not the greatest dish, but it'll have to do for now. Here's a nice rat sirloin for you and a jug of sauces. Okay. To cook the rat steaks that Frisnik has requested, use the oven next to him. Place the rat meat and the kobold cooking sauce into, into your inventory. Then left click on the oven and open the trade skill window. Left click on this. Search recipes button near the top of the window to search for a list of recipes. Okay, search recipes. Rats to rat steaks. Combine. Nailed it. Oh god, right, you have to get food in this game. I think I played a magician a lot, so magicians can just like summon their own food and water. I forgot about that. Okay. If you wish to create something that's not already on your list of known recipes, you can experiment. When you open the trade skill window, click on the experiment button. This opens a new window labeled with the name of the trade skill container on which you're experimenting. Oven in this case. You can then place your ingredients in the slots of the oven window. Rat steaks. Uh, for rat steaks, they require rat meat and cooking sauce. Okay. Some trade skill recipes are more complicated than others. and require you to possess a higher trade skill level in the trade skill you are attempting to practice. If your level is not high enough to attempt a particular recipe, you will likely fail to combine. When this happens, you will often lose some or all of the ingredients used 
for the com uh, combine. Okay. There are many different types of trade skills that you can practice, including baking, pottery, fletching, blacksmithing, and weaving. I'm pretty sure gnomes get tinkering, and it's like a racial exclusive. You can create all manners of items using these skills. To perform the various types of trade skills, you must find the correct type of trade skill container. Okay, sounds good. Task stage complete. What is next? Lindro. Oh my god. Well, this is someone that's uh, multi-boxing, I think. I see someone in there is named Christ. Okay. Kronos the Lunatic Bleed. These aren't very... Maybe it's not... These aren't very, like, bot names. These are very name names. So maybe I'm wrong. Lust of something? You le you uh, ate some leftover pizza last night. Put it on the side table. A mouse staring back at you as it ate your... Oh, no. Okay. What do we have to do next? Wi oh, Widgedin. I'm sorry I'm going through this so slowly, guys. Where's Widgedin? There's Widgedin. Okay. Hi there, Labio. Just browsing. Have you seen the spell burn I just got? Wait, wait. Lower your weapon, Widgedin whimpers. Throwing his hands up in front of his face. Listen, I'm a merchant. And my lead competitor has just invested in the slave trade. I want you all to revolt, in fact. Smash the place up and pillage this mine in the last, uh, to the last copper. Just bring me the loot before you escape so I can buy it from you. There will be much profit for us both. Which is a merchant. He can buy items, uh, that you bring him. Or, okay, let's see. You want a rat steak? To buy and sell, right-click anywhere on him to bring up the merchant window. To sell, click on the items from your own inventory and press the sell button in the merchant window. To buy, click on items in the merchant window and click buy. Okay, sounds good. I don't want anything. I'm probably going to need that rat steak. Can I open this up? I can't. Oh, I, we got some food. I think food gets auto-eaten. I'm pretty sure you auto-eat food. I wonder if there's... Is there a claim bar? Is claim still a thing? Hmm. What do I have? I don't know what these give me. A lamp post? I think bail marks, I believe, are for mercenaries. A traveler's rucksack. That sounds good. Yes, I want to claim this. What does this give me? It gives me a box of stuff. Uh, yes, I would like to wear that. Yes, I would like to wear these. What is this? Breastplate. Yes. Scabbard? Where does a scabbard go? Oh! Okay, it looks like it's better. What are these? Potion of Adventure. Book of Knowledge. Does this bring you to, like, the Plane of Knowledge?
Okay, we don't want to use that. What does this do? Gives you extra experience. Okay. Increases movement speed. Let's just throw some junk in here. Okay. Bam. Okay, but what am I doing? Do I still need to talk to Widgedon? I think I'm done with Widgedon. Hail Lindro to learn about something. Hey, Lindro! I think we're going to learn about banking. Hello, Labio. Uh, it's, it's Labio. I've found a secret cubbyhole. <laughs> oh, God. Where we can hide our loot. If you have any coins you want to stash there, give them to me. That is a very convincing proposition. Hey. Hey there, person I just met. I found a hole. You, uh, if you want to, do you want to give me some money and I'll put it in the hole and then later I can give it back to you maybe? Lindro is a banker, which means he can, uh, that you can give him money and equipment to store for later. You can use any banker by right clicking on them. You can withdraw and deposit items at any bank as you, okay. Lindro is a backpack for you to use. Left click on the pack in the bank inventory and place it in, okay. I'll take it. I wonder if banks are less useful now than they used to be. Because I think... Oh my god, my armor. It's beautiful. I think coins used to have weight. And I don't think they do anymore. I could be totally wrong, though. I don't know. I know very little about EverQuest, to be honest. Uh, Hail Scribe Farquad. Like, while I love EverQuest and loved playing it, anyone who <laughs> it pops into chat that has played EverQuest probably knows more about it than me. Uh, okay. Hey, Rashir, what's up? Greetings, Labio. I'm afraid I'm too old to join in this revolt. I can only wait here and try to walk out once the dust has settled. Good luck to you, though. Many have tried to escape. Uh, uh, tr tried to escape already, and few have survived. Rashir studies you for a moment, scratching his uh, bristly chin. Hey, don't look so worried, Labio. Death is but a thin boundary in this world. In fact, I and a few others have learned how to reach across this boundary and pluck souls from their resting place. If you would like to return your soul here, just say, bind my soul. Uh, okay. Find my soul. Okay. Do I have to talk to Elegis? Do I have to talk to any of these guys? Okay. Scribe Farquad. Where are you? Why, hello there. Oh, Labio, that's your name, right? I'm recording all the events here, assuming I survive. This will turn into quite a marvelous account of what ha has occurred. But I think someone of your potential is going on, uh, is going to go on to even greater adventures. Maybe you'd like, uh, you'd like, wait, maybe you'd like to marvelous account of what occurred. But I think someone of your potential is going to go on to, okay, blah, blah, blah. Maybe you... Oh, I, I sorry. My, my brain just melted. Maybe you'd like to hear more about what <laughs> what kind of achievements are possible in the... Okay. Oh, my God. My eyes are so bad, friends. Oh, no. Okay, let's hear about achievements. Accept. Talk to Farquad. He's willing to tell you about achievements and stuff. Nice. Okay, here's the achievement list. Achievements are a record of your character's accomplishments. You can find the achievements window located under character in the EverQuest menu. Okay. Oh, right. And some of these give you stuff. That's cool. There are subcategories. General is for uh, class advancement and stuff like that. Trade skills for trade skills. 
Hero's Journey is a main path of su suggested advancement. Expansion is for each expansion. That makes sense. Open, complete, unlocked. Components are required. Uh, are requirements. Or set of requirements you need to ful fulfill. Uh, to gain an achievement. Okay, so that's multi-part ones. Click the general category. And then see the special subcategory. You should see an achievement for mastering achievements. Click the mastering achievements achievement. <laughs> and you will see a checkbox for the achievement tutorial. When you complete the tutorial, you will gain this achievement. Okay. Achievement score is listed on the top of the achievement window. Uh, on the achievements tab of the summary tab. Oh my god. This is here is the total number of achievement points. The total achievements completed and the achievements completed in the selected category. Click the summary tab for a full breakdown. Okay, sounds good. Rewards are available for completing some achievements. Select the Mastering Achievements achievement located under the main category. General and subcategory special. A button displayed there says View Reward. You can click this button and bring up your reward window and see that completing this achievement offers you experience and money. You will, of course, get the achievement points listed here that go towards the total score. Okay, we can either get 10 silver or we can get XP. Let's get XP. I want to check something real fast. Let's see. Yeah, let's go check display. Let's see. Show my helm. I might get rid... I might not show my helm just because, you know, we have the face of Fabio. Uh... Hmm. What if there's any way to increase? I mean, the, the, I was going to say to increase UI scale. But the only problem is that there's so much freaking UI in this game. Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay. Optional. Priest of Lucklin. Okay, I know there's stuff on the other side. There's the Priest of Lucklin. Why, hello there. Hail. Greetings, young one. If you find yourself searching for your mortal remains, I may be of aid. Our brotherhood offers its services for free to those beginning their journey in life. As the priest begins to chant, shadows slowly coalesce into a wimpy, uh, wispy mass that feels vaguely familiar. After a few moments, the shadows recede and all of the remains of your former life appear before you. I've never died here, though. And Mackenzie the Younger and Poxan. Okay. Where's Mackenzie? Mackenzie the Younger. We're the slowest swimmer right now, but we can train that. I might train swimming off screen. Okay, Mackenzie the Younger is outside of town. Uh, where's Poxan? Oh! Hey! You look like you're good at swimming. That is a swimmer's face if I've ever seen one. Poxan sighs heavily as he peers into the murky water. <sighs> this is terrible. I dropped my sword into the water and I can't swim. I... I'm a poor judge of character, Poxan. I don't suppose you could go back and, uh, uh, suppose you could get it back for me, Labio. I can't very well fight kobolds without a sword. Okay, you can use page up or page down to swim up and down. When underwater, it shows the air remaining. Okay, where's the air remaining? Oh, there it is. Okay. Hey, I got something for you. 
Oh my god. You know what? I've decided. Oh wait, we can't see the mask? Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, I wanted to see Labio in a gimp mask. Ah, oh, dang. Okay. What next? Tell Arius. Okay, we're going to talk to Mackenzie before we do that. Okay, so we need to talk to Guard Rattas. Hail! The vermin infested... Oh, wait, what do you have to say? Greetings, Labio. We're glad you found your way to our camp. We can use uh, all the help we can get. The vermin infesting these tunnels threaten our sc scarce provisions. If you want to help our revolt, start by clearing the tunnel beyond of rats and bats. Speak with Valara uh, when you finished your hunt, and she shall uh, reward you with a pair of stitched leggings. They're not much better, but they're all we can spare for right now. Okay. So I'm pretty sure as a bard... I'm pretty sure the skill you need to learn as a bard is like, I forget what it's called. I think it's like cycling spells or something. So I believe the thing with a bard is that you can have one song active. Okay, how do I see what buffs are on me? Wait, does this, maybe, have they removed that need? They might have removed that need. Because it says this is active for 26 minutes. So maybe you don't need to do this. What you used to have to do in the game was, like, I believe, cycle your songs so you're constantly, like, doing all your different buffs to keep them active. Because I think they would have, like, a certain small duration that you could have them overlap and effectively keep multiple buffs active. Okay, what do you have to say? Hail! My mate Radiz and I will hold this position. We need you to explore the tunnels beyond. Valara needs as much Glooming Deep Silk as she can get a, her hands on. She's Okay, this is the Silk Quest we heard reference to earlier. She's in special need of Glooming Deep Cocoon Silk, which has a thicker weave, yet remains supple enough to make bandages. Sneak into the Kobold Spider Hatchery to the south and harvest some of the Glooming Deep uh, Cocoon Silk from the Spiderling Cocoons. We have one hour in, and we're now getting past the just like tutorial-ass tutorials. Okay. So what do we have to do? We have to kill spiders. We have to get cocoon silk. We have to kill bats. Okay. I don't know if I want to go first person or third person. Uh, I can't auto target with tab. How do I activate chant of uh, chords of dissonance? Do I need an instrument? Is that what I need? I might need an instrument before I can do that. There's a chance I need a loot. Okay. Our offense has increased to six. Our one-handed blunt has increased to 11. Okay. I know for a lot of people, this might seem like a nightmare. For me, it's something I love about this game. Um, one thing that's interesting about this game's progression is you level up like other games, right? I'm a level two bard. But you also have skills that level up semi-independently of your main character level as you use it. Our defense is now 6, our offense is 7, our offense is 8. Um, so the reason I say semi-independently is it's not completely independent because your maximum skill rank is often determined by your level. But uh, if I like never sneak, then my sneak will never go up. If I never swim, my swim will never go up. But I can focus on swimming and, in and increase this. So, I, I don't know. Uh, for a lot of people, it might feel like mindless grind. But for me, I like the idea that I can do, like, a session of this game. Wait, oh. Hello there. Where I'm, uh, like, you know, throwing on a podcast and, and just, like, saying, Today, I'm going to just, like, watch a show and I'm going to swim around and become a super swimmer. Like, my sister and I literally have done swimming sessions in this game. 
Just to, like get faster and faster and faster. I don't know where's our what's our skills menu shortcut. I wonder. Nope. There's no shortcut for skills. So, here, let me open this up. So, there's way more skills than you'll get than this. Sense heading. Oh, yeah. Jewelry making. Offense. So, offense will go up. I think every level I gain, that will be able to increase by five. So, some of these are... Oh, begging. Um... And you can do some really interesting stuff with macros to raise some of these skills. Like, I remember when I was doing a rogue, I would have it where I would do, like... I don't remember. Stealth pickpocket. Like, backstab or something. Unstealth. Or so, like, like, there would be some macro where I'd be training, like, three or four skills at once. Okay. Let's get going. Why can I not... Hang on a second. Why can I not use my spells? Huh. Skill stringed instruments. Percussion instruments. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, now I can. So I think I put a damage over time on it. I think. Is there a way for me to check? Yes. Okay, so Chords of Dissonance is now playing on it. Okay. Wait, is Chords of Dissonance still playing? Oh, that's just a song I sing, and it hurts anyone around me. That's crazy. It's also dangerous. How do I see that I'm singing that? How do I... There we go. Huh. I think I need to break these, too. How do I target this? Is there, like, an auto target normally in these games it's tab to like cycle to nearest target I should look this up uh let's go to options oh god come on Maybe, maybe it's not the uh, Chords of Distance. Maybe it's Shield of Fire that's doing that. Maybe it's Shield of Fire, the thing that the dude casted on me. It, I think it is. Come on, come on. Okay. Can I loot that bat? Okay. Here, let's sit for a second. Okay, is there a way for me to just see my keybinds? Keys. Commands. Set aggro target. Target. Target myself, target nearest NPC. Hmm.
Toggle, target, and myself as tab. There's gotta be a way to... Huh... I don't think I want to do that. Nearest NPC, does that include bad guys? It does. I feel like that should be tab. Okay, let's do that for now. And let's, uh, let's remove that for now. Okay, I think that's better. Come on, stand up. Let's go four. Wait, but that thing was getting hit. So I, I can't, I don't have shield of fire on anymore. So maybe it was chords of dissonance. Also. Okay, we'll get that. Uh, let's just loot all. Where was the skills menu I saw? Character. Skills. Is there anything I should be training at the same time? Other than what I'm currently training. You cannot loot while there's a hostile creature. Okay, that's fine. Can I beg creatures? How do I do begging? Oh, God. I think begging is risky. Because I think begging can... Ah! God damn it. I think begging can make, like, people attack you. I think people get pissed. How do I see which song I have active? Loot all, yes. Okay, because I do that, right? Chant of battle. Oh, wait, is strengthened not from chant of battle? Okay, whatever. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. This might not be good. No! Uh-oh. I might have bit off, bitten off more than I can chew. Okay. I think we can do this. One's down. Respawns might fuck me, but we'll see. Man, they must really hate my music. Okay, our health is doing fine. Oh, god damn it. Are we okay? Oh, I think it's attacking me. It's okay, we're still at 77% health, we're fine. We're fine. 
<sighs> What's our quest looking like? Okay, let's turn off that song for now. Let's loot all. Let's sit down for a moment. Take a breath. Grab a drink. Delicious. Okay. Speak to Widgeton to sell your loot. Oh, Labio. I know it's tough now. Being captured and thrown into slavery. But you have great things coming your way, Labio. You've gone through hardships that no one can imagine. It's just because of your name. But one day, they will hear the name Labio. And they will quiver in fear. They will hear your song bellowing over the horizon. And they will lay down their weapons. Because they know that they don't stand a chance, Labio. You got this. Okay. Uh, we have to kill a couple more. Oh, we don't even need to kill rats. What am I doing? We need to kill bats and vermin nests. Upgrade your membership. But hey, on the bright side, our weapons have... I mean, our uh, skills have gone up a fair bit. What's our level? Our level is three, and we're halfway to the next level. Okay. We'll be able to do this quest very easily, I think. The spires, I think, are a bit tougher. Uh, okay. Come on. I don't think we can use the dissonant song on, on the nest, because it's, like, inanimate. I'll take that. So, am I supposed to be cycling songs? I don't know. I should probably look up how to play a bard at some point. Okay. So, I think we're done one quest. Speak to Widgeton and sell our loot. Part of the reason why I wanted to be a bard, I, I like mages. I've, I've done mages quite a bit, and I think mages are interesting because they... I, I think with certain classes, like some of the melee classes, you don't acquire just like tons and tons of new like fancy skills to interact with. Whereas like things like mages, you... um, You know, you're... Uh, every level or every couple levels, you're getting new spells. It's kind of cool. Um, But uh, I wanted a bit of that. So I wanted to try something a bit different than what I normally play, but I also still wanted the feeling of, like, getting new things, new songs. What do these do, you know? Okay, Widgeton. Hello. Take my bones. Take my paws. Take my ears. Okay, what do you... What do you sell? Anything I care about? Hmm. Is there weapon durability? Is that a thing? I don't think so. I don't think so. 
I hope not. <laughs> okay. So we need to kill spiders. What does Radis have to say to me? Hail. Okay. The kobolds will be charging down this passage here. I'll, uh, I'll only have time to fire a few arrows before they get close to melee. Venture into the tunnels beyond and bring me one more arrow. It might save my life. The kobolds typically leave extra ammunition and barrels throughout the mines. Break a few of them. Oh, the barrels is how I used to make early money. I would farm barrels and get, like, staves or something. Okay. Oh, we have to speak with Valara. Uh. Yes, I would love that. Wait, what? Do I have it? Maybe. Okay. Amazing. Uh, let's go back to Rattis. Hail! Arachnida, the kobolds, are raising the Gloomfang spiders to guard these mines. Queen Gloomfang's latest brood uh, recently tore free from their cocoons and is now in the southern cave crawling. Okay. So we got to kill spiders. Okay, so what do we have to do? Let's see. Uh, okay, we'll skip that for now. So we need silk. We need to get an arrow from a barrel. And we need to kill a shit ton of spiders. Do you have anything else for me? Spider Tamer Guggen. The Glooming Deep Spider Tamer is able to brew anti-venom from a rare flower that grows in Glooming Deep. If we had this flower, we may be able to use it to save lives. Okay, where is that? Find anti-venom vial. Okay. Can I zoom out? I can. Okay, so Gloomfang is down that way. Oh, there's a barrel. Yes. We got a backpack. Okay. I'll take it. We read that. What is over here? Oh, there's more quests up here. Okay, we don't need to talk to these guys yet because we're not a high enough level. Okay. Do we need to kill just normal gloom spiders? We do. Do I keep failing at singing in the song? Is that what's going on? There we go. It's active. Ooh, these guys hurt. Okay, so this was casted on me by a uh, by a player, I think. Okay. Yes, I will take that. How close am I to leveling? I'm very close. I'm not sure if I need to buy new songs at certain levels like you do with um, spellcasters. I don't know how that works. You probably do, based on the fact that I 
I learn the um, chords of dissonance or whatever it's called by using a scroll. Okay, this is bad. We leveled up. What are my skills looking like? Singing is now at 15. Offense is at 15. Okay. So I think we maxed our skills for our previous level, or some of them, and now we'll be able to start raising them even higher. I think these guys aggro on site. I'm not exactly sure how skill up works. Like, I have a feeling that a lot of skill ups are kind of like dice rolls. Because it feels like sometimes you get skill ups like back to back, and sometimes it takes forever to gain one. Okay, let's do Chant of Battle. And let's try to get out of here without getting in a fight. Oh, hey, Mackenzie. Oh, I have to talk to you, don't I? Hail. Wait. Uh. Wow. Oh, you gave me quite the start there. Friend, I thought uh, one of these blasted kobolds had snuck up on me. I nearly even chipped the augmentation I just found. Augmentation? Tell me more. Can I sit down while talking? What's this? You want to learn about augmentations, you say? Hmm. I guess I could give you a quick lesson. Ah, as my old man once told me, he starts to ramble monotonously about his father's friend, blah, blah. So Morden's cleaning his fingernail with a dagger and then it slipped. Bah, blood everywhere. Blah, did he learn his lesson? No, blah, blah, scratching this little gemstone with his dagger when it merged. Blah, power, blah, blah. And hey, are you listening or? I like how we have to mistype listening <laughs> we can't be like yes I am listening we have to say yes I'm listening I think that you can might be able to type like a phrase like okay oh forget history for now see that little stone I just gave you oh oh, oh, oh okay let's let's throw this in our inventory that's an augment if you embed it in a weapon or a piece of armor it can make the item more powerful Mind, you can't put an augment just anywhere. You need to look at your armor and make sure the augment will fit it properly. If you examine it, you'll see what type uh, items you can attach it to. Okay, let's see. Uh, how do I embed this? You can embed the augmentation directly into the weapon while inspecting it. Why don't you give it a, a try? Once you put that augment into your weapon... Uh, and equipped it. Come talk to me. Okay. So. We have this. Yes. We did it. Okay. Okay. There are many different types of augment slots, blah, 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 such as, uh, there are some restrictions. To remove an augment, uh, with the required distiller in your inventory, the augment's description window will tell you which, like, okay. To destroy an augment, right-click on the augment's icon. Okay, so we can remove them to get them back, but we need an item, or we can just destroy it. Hey, what's up? Aye, you, uh, fine job you did, friend. Give those kobolds a good thrashing for me. Okay, basic training has been updated. What else do we have left in basic training? We're basically done, aren't we? Tell Arius. Okay. Let's tell Arius we finished basic training. Wait. 
Oh, I went the wrong way. But is there a barrel? There is a barrel. We're going to kill every barrel we ever see. My inventory is probably almost full. Is it? Does it auto fill? Uh, it does. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. Coarse silk, rough silk, blooming deep cocoon silk. Okay. This poor guy. Hey, guys. Oh, this person has a bunch of mercenaries. I think you can probably get mercenaries by being like a subscriber. I, I like I think you can get them without being a subscriber, but I'm pretty sure you can get them for free in game by being a subscriber. I could be wrong. Mercenaries would definitely help out with the soloing though. Okay. Hey, you. Wait, what items do I need? I know I, I think I need the cocoon silk, right? So I won't sell that. Oops. Sell. Sell. Sell? What is this? A ration? I should probably hang on to a ration. Uh, I don't want I don't want to I don't want to sell that. Okay, one second. Okay, what else do I have? You want this? Oh, that sells for nothing. That also sells for nothing. Ah. Huh. Okay. We are all good. Where's Arius? Arius is somewhere in the middle, right? Yeah, there he is. Hey, you. Okay. Well done, my friend. Take this kobold skull charm. You're now ready to join the ranks with the slaves and fight against the glooming deep kobolds. Uh, speak with guard Radis for your next assignment. You gain experience with a bonus. Okay, what is this? It's a charm. Where do you equip charms? Oh, cool. Thank you. Do you have anything else for me? Ale. No. Okay, so I think we have to either do barrels. Which barrels will just get naturally over time. And then we need to do all the spider shit. The spider stuff's going to be a bit tougher. There's a barrel. There we go. We also got a bag. A shitty bag, but it's still a bag. Okay. Well, have I got good news for you? Eh. Eh. I wish there was a like an acrobatic skill like Morrowind. Oh, that would make me so happy. Do I have to deliver this to Rattis? To Rattis. I have two, but I'll, I'll just give you one. Did you find a bow and some arrows? Oh, God, I didn't... Wait, wait. Oh, he, he's going to tell me I can equip a bow and in increase range stuff. Oh, amazing. Now that you have your bow and arrows equipped, you can form range attacks. I'm not going to use a stinking bow. But I will equip a quiver that lets me. What? I will sell all this stuff if it lets me. Quivers are a special type of bag. Oh... Oh, so you throw that in there. Interesting. Okay.
Hail. You have nothing new for me. We have to go kill some spiders. Some Brent Spiners. Here, you know what? While well, we're here. Can I not jump backwards? Eh. Let's take a look at the Daybreak store. Let's just see what this the deal with this store is. Okay. Player studio. I get, okay, I guess this is probably for like a house. Ornaments. Okay, so I'm guessing this is for a house. New and featured. Appearance stuff. Okay, metamorph wands. Okay, bags. Oh my god, these are also expensive compared to what we have. Uh, what are these? A 32... A 32 slot bag with 100% weight reduction. This contains four journeyman's rucksacks. Okay, so I wonder. So this contains four of the best bag, right? Wait, journeyman's... Oh, wait. No, it doesn't... It's not pocketed. Okay, 6,600. Let's see. How much does this cost? Let's just see. Wait, that's all access. That's not what we want. How much does this cost? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Getting those four bags is like 60 bucks. Okay, expansions. Oh, you can get all the collector's editions. And oh, my God. Family and friends edition. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay, what are these? Familiars. Food and drink. Gear. Heritage crates. What are these? Each crate contains a random ogre-themed familiar mount illusion teleporter. Full set of Heroes Forge armor. There's housing stuff. Prize cards. Membership. Mounts. Hmm. Overseer startle starter bundle. I have no clue what this is. Overseer agent packs. Potions, services. So does this let you 10 slot ring to store illusions? That seems like it's probably pretty cool. I think that lets you like appear as different races and stuff. Titles, trinkets, and wedding chapels. Is there like a way to do mercenary things? Bail marks. A heroic character. Create a new level 85 character. Okay. Potion of Mercenary Amnesia. you be able to set... Okay. What are the perks to membership? Let's see. Perks. Oh, can you not get access to alternate advancement? Okay, take care, Scoots. Can you not get access to alternate advancement? Unless you're a subscriber. Access to six character slots. Additional character slots. Access to all spell ranks. Maximum amount of loyalty rewards. Access to all mercenary tiers. Access to in-game broker. Uh, all housing and guild halls allowed. Access to progression servers. Unlimited chat channel access. Full guild functionality. Increased cap of active overseer quests. Access to EverQuest perks. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. And how much is it? Let's see. How much is this? Okay, so kind of like traditional... Traditional pricing for MMO. So... Okay, what's a chrono? 
Add 30 day membership time to your account. To the account of the consuming character. If any perks, the time will not be extended on those perks. Wait, what? I'm confused. Okay, whatever. Good to know, though. Okay. Uh, I guess we're going back into Spider-Land. Okay. Hordes of Dissidents. Come on. The membership is something I could see myself doing down the road, but obviously we'll see how, how much I get into this game again. That's not something I'm going to do now. But it seems like if you get into the game, it would definitely be hugely worth it. Loot all, yes. Okay, we're a third of the way to our next level. What's Praxis? Oh, did I choose a religion? Oh, I meant to... Ah, dang it. I might have accidentally defaulted on some religion. Let's see. EverQuest Praxis. What is this? Yeah, it looks like I, I accidentally defaulted on some religion in this game. Oh, well. problem with religion in this game uh, i think you get some perks but it also it adds another level of like faction like people liking or hating you Loot all. Yes. Okay, I want to see something really fast. Let's go check something out. Okay. Uh, bam. How do I go to character select? 30 seconds to prepare. I have to send a really quick text.
Okay. So, if we went to create character. Uh, human. Where's the religion thing? Is that, oh, advanced? Where's the religion? Oh, deity. Oh, I missed that. And what did I choose? My character was Praxis? What is that? The Ocean Lord. Believe true power lies in the vast depths of the blah, 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 blah. Sailors and fishermen. Okay. So here's what we're going to do for now. Oop. We are going to temporarily go... Wow. Okay. And I'll be back in a moment with something completely different. <laughs>